Couch Chad! Yeah, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but, you know, I like using the, the hiring cameras. What's up, guys? So I want to talk to you guys today about something. You know, I talk a lot on this channel about things that you could be doing to better yourself as a guy as it relates to getting better with women, knowing how to talk to them, knowing, you know, what you need to be doing better on your end of things to make sure that you show up in the right way, which kind of correlates with what I'm talking about today. So I, I was thinking about this today, right? You know, if you guys follow music, you know, like Cardi B and Offset, they are recently getting divorced. And so Cardi is divorcing Offset because he's been cheating since like they got into a relationship practically, right? But it's interesting what she said when she said that she filed for the divorce because uh, they got married and they, I think they've been married for like six or seven years or been together for that long. And she said every single month they've been together, he has been cheating on her, right? And so I got to thinking, she knew he was cheating every single month for the six or seven years they were together. And yet, and yet, not only did she stay with him, but she agreeingly had three kids with him. She's pregnant with a third kid now and they're getting divorced while she's pregnant, right? So I thought about that, and then I thought about uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce, where Jay-Z years ago cheated, and Beyonce has stayed with him. And that, to me, that was no shock when that happened, the, the, the cheating part, because Jay-Z and his songs prior to them getting together was all about, I'm taking this other guy's chick. I'm, I, have I have a main chick, a mistress, and I have a young chick, a mistress, and a main chick on my side. Like, he was saying that in songs that we all heard. And that Beyonce heard, and she still got with him, and then he cheated. Oh my God, we're so shocked. How could he? Beyonce's so fine. What the? And then I thought even further back to Bill Clinton, Bill and Hillary, where famously Bill Clinton, the president and the governor, had all kinds of chicks on the side. And then, of course, was getting some, some good downtown stuff happening in the White House. If you're a little bit younger, look that up. And... She stuck with him. Now, we could say it's political, but political divorces happen all the time, all right? She stayed with this guy. And so I started thinking, what do all three of these scenarios have in common? And you know what it is? Is that all these women knew that the guys they were with could get other women. And the reason that is, is because they built themselves up to be the kind of men that women would want, all right? Whether it was them getting some kind of clout, some kind of fame, whether it was getting money, whether it was them working out enough. The, the point is that whatever things these guys had to do to put themselves in a position to where other women would want them, that's what they did. And I'm pointing this out now in particular because, you know, sometimes on my channel, I'll have guys in the comments say things like, well, you know, the thing if there's you're saying for guys to do Harry, they wouldn't have to do if they were an alpha Chad or if they were a guy that a woman would just automatically want, then it would bypass them having to do these things. And you know what? For all those commenters, I just want to say you are 100 percent correct. I fully believe that same thing, too, that if you already have women's interest, you're going to get away with a lot more stuff for a longer period of time. Now, that does not mean that you forego learning dating skills, relationship skills, communication skills, et cetera, because who you are if you build yourself up can only take you so far. But even if you built yourself all the way up to be the kind of guy that women just automatically want, you can still mess that up. Like that's very possible. But I don't want to ignore that part of it too, is that you need to be doing as much as you can to be able to put yourself in a position to where you have to do the least amount of work to get women. OK, and so what does this mean? It means a few things. It means, for one, working on your appearance, working on how you dress. If you have a certain kind of style about you, then, yes, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb in a good way. And women are going to want to inquire more about you and come up to you. Also, also building up your muscle, working out of the gym, being good looking. Women also want that from their guy. And it is the fastest way for you to start getting women's attention. Now, I will say again. At the point that you're getting women's incoming attention, you're going to want to be able to know, say, and do things because if they start talking to you and you start sounding like an idiot or start being a beggar or start acting needy, then yes, even you, muscle-bound guy, could be potentially losing women. But again, 
it does help you to have more women coming to you if you've got that situated. Also, your lifestyle. Women, are, they're buying into you and your personality, but they're also buying into your lifestyle. They're trying to look at you and say, could I envision myself being a part of this guy's lifestyle? And if that answer is no, then, or if it's going to be one of those where it's like, well, I could join it, but there's going to be a bit of a struggle there. You can also lose out on some of these women. So yes, it does behoove you to try to figure out how to maximize your, your money-making abilities. It does behoove you to try to get a, a, your own place and try to make it look as good as possible. It behooves you to try to get a car and make that look as good as possible. Doing these things, again, I am all for you getting an education in women and how to treat them. But the reality also is that you up your, you up your chances of being able to meet women if you have certain things set in place. You work out well, you have a good job, you have money coming in, you know how to be sociable. These are things that if a woman just looks at them, if you go to a party, for example, and you're like a guy that all the other girls are seemingly talking to, guess what? You're going to have another girl outside of that roster that's looking like, I want to be part of that roster. How do I know? Because I've had experience. I've gone to parties where I've seen a woman that I wanted to get with and proceeded to spend an hour talking to every other woman that was there before talking to her. And then when I finally did talk to her, it was easy to get a conversation going, to get her to sit on my lap, to get her to make out with me, to get her to get me the number, and to eventually take her out and do fun, fun things with her at my place, if you get my drift, okay? So this starts with you knowing what to set up and how to set those things up effectively. Because realistically, you could be working on yourself, you could be working on your inner self-esteem and inner workings of how women are and knowing how to talk to them, but none of that matters if when women first see you, they're not thinking, yeah, I want to talk to him. Yeah, I want to get with him. Oh my God, he's lighting up this room. Like these are skills that are going to help you immensely to up the chances of you actually getting with the women you want. Yes, you could totally, totally get a woman without having muscles and without uh, having a, a, a job. You could potentially even get women living home with your parents. That can't happen. But you significantly lower your chances of that happening and you lower the quality of woman that you're going to get when you don't do things that are going to allow your roster or the women coming to you to be significantly higher, okay? So just like, the, and, and you'll notice too, like I said, just like Jay-Z, just like Offset, because people forget with Offset, like people say, oh, Cardi had more of the money. Offset was the more famous one first. Like he was in a group Migos that was already like having a lot of fans and bringing a lot of money in when Cardi was starting out music, all right? So he actually had all the power first. And so Cardi saw that, she saw that he had other women. She saw all the money he had and the lifestyle he had and suddenly was just swooned over him and oh my God, he's choosing me because women want to be chosen by dudes that they feel could get other women and are already setting themselves up to be that guy, all right? Same with Jay-Z. You think people don't realize that like people say Beyonce should have divorced Jay-Z. Who's Beyonce going to get next? As Jay-Z once famously said, who's higher than number one? Like Jay-Z got a billion dollars. It's going to be hard for Beyonce to go out there and find another billionaire, especially a black one, that's straight, that's going to want to potentially get with her or that she's going to want to get with. She's going to have to go after guys that are lower tier because she also has close to a billion dollars in the bank, okay? So she set herself up with somebody that had already made himself out to be a winner. And, and sadly to say, guys, women would rather share a winner than to get with a loser. That's why Hillary stayed. That's why Beyonce stayed. And up to this point, that's why Cardi stayed. And then even when she was trying to divorce him, she was still going back and forth on that, okay? And is still trying to keep him as a friend of my life because we've been such good friends since whatever. So understand that, guys. Work, yes, work on the inner workings of yourself, but also work on the outer stuff that's going to allow women to see that you know how to get women and that you have value that's worthy of her chasing after you. Because if she's chasing you, she can't be replacing you. So hopefully that helps some of you guys out. Let me know in your comments what your thoughts are about what I just said. Be sure to give this video a like and a subscribe and go, go to introvertdatingsuccess.com to check out my Introvert Dating Success Academy community where you get all my various eBooks, audiobooks, and programs designed to help you in the dating realm. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Peace. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning.